814 now. It's Medicare's annual enrollment period. And if you want to make changes to your Medicare coverage for 2023, now's the time to do so. Choosing a coverage that's right for you starts with learning the basics about Medicare. And Dr. B, our friend, Dr. Brent Wallace, Chief Medical Officer from People's Health, is here to help explain the ABCs of Medicare. How you doing, Doc? Hey, Tommy. I'm doing good. How about you? I'm okay. I guess it's more like ABCs and Ds of Medicare. How many parts are there? Yeah, four four major parts. There's a couple of smaller ones we don't all we don't necessarily need to talk about, but um but basically A, B, C and D and each type of Medicare insurance pays for a different section of healthcare services that you may need, and you have to keep in mind that each part also has certain costs that you may be obligated to pay as well. I guess we better start with part A. Yep, Part A. So Part A is really known as hospital insurance, and that's going to cover any time you have an inpatient hospital stay or if you need to go to a skilled nursing facility for services. It also covers hospice care and actually home health care as well. And most people don't pay any sort of premium for their Part A services, but you know, keep in mind that doesn't mean it's completely free because with original Medicare, you actually do have deductibles. So you have to meet that deductible before the Medicare coverage kicks in. And then after you meet that deductible, in certain instances, you may also be charged a copay or a coinsurance. But those costs are going to be determined by Medicare and they definitely change from year to year. Doc, I don't know much about Medicare, but I do know my alphabet. That brings us to Part B. Yes, Part B. And Part B is really known as medical insurance. So Part B is going to cover doctor's visits, um, outpatient hospital services. It's going to cover medical equipment, uh, so like wheelchairs and, and walkers and things like that, and then preventative care. So anything you see your doctor that's to prevent a future disease. And for Part B, most people do have to pay a monthly premium. And um, and just like Part A under original Medicare, you also need to meet a deductible, and then you may be required to pay up to a 20% coinsurance for care. The good thing is those preventative services to prevent disease are usually covered at no cost. How about Medicare Part C? Yeah, so Part C was actually created in 1997, and it was created by the Balanced Budget Act, which introduced Part C, or or what we now know now as Medicare Advantage plans. And these plans are actually offered through private insurance companies that have a contract and have been approved by Medicare to offer those Medicare benefits. But those private companies have to follow all the Medicare rules, and they have to cover all the services that Medicare would cover as well. So what's the difference between original Medicare and Medicare Advantage? Well, so most people begin on original Medicare, and, and that's typically parts A and B that we just talked about. But, um, but that only covers services that are medically necessary, and, and it doesn't cover prescription drugs or a lot of routine services, things like dental visits or um, hearing exams or even vision care. And so that's why some people choose a Medicare Advantage plan. Medicare Advantage plans have to cover everything that Medicare covers, but they also offer extra benefits. So they may offer a fitness center membership or um, non-emergency transportation. Um, You know, they're going to cover all the routine Medicare services, but then in addition may throw in a dental plan, a vision plan, um, and even hearing coverage. So you're getting more. Do those extra benefits make Medicare Advantage plans more expensive than original Medicare? Not necessarily. You know, every plan is going to come with its own cost, um, but your overall cost with Medicare Advantage plans are typically lower than Medicare. And the reason for that is because the Medicare Advantage plans are required to limit your yearly out-of-pocket cost. So they have a maximum out-of-pocket that once you hit that, you don't pay anything else for the year, whereas Medicare doesn't have that. It doesn't put a limit on those yearly expenses. And then the other thing to consider is those extra benefits. So, you know, those extra benefits can really add up. Um, you know, a dental cleaning, for example, could be 100 or $200. That's not going to be covered under original Medicare. But if your Medicare Advantage plan has dental coverage, you may not have to pay the full $100. So you have to really look at what you think you're going to need throughout the course of the year 
you know, what sort of services, what type of doctors and any extra benefits and look at the total savings because it can really add up tremendously over what you may be paying under original Medicare. Um, but you may not have anything out of pocket at all, right? Yeah, you know, it, a lot of Medicare Advantage plans have $0 services for a lot of different benefits. And so um, you have to really look and see what your costs are going to be plan by plan. That's the best thing to do. If, um, you know, if you don't utilize a lot of medical services, then, um, you know, you may want to choose one plan over another. But you definitely want to check and make sure that everything that you need is going to be included in your plan. All right, let's take a quick break. We're talking to Dr. B, our friend, Chief Medical Officer of People's Health. It is Medicare open enrollment period. We're talking about the ABCs of Medicare. When we come back, we'll pick it up with some other costs of Medicare Advantage. If you have any questions or comments, 504-260-1870. I'll try to get them in. 820, time for traffic now on WWL. All right, 825 now. Tommy Tucker, WWL, talking to Dr. B, our friend, Chief Medical Officer at People's Health, talking about the ABCs. Of Medicare. Doc, what are the other costs that are affiliated with Medicare Advantage? Yeah, so the, the costs are really going to depend on which plan you pick, and that, that's why it's so important to, to shop around. There, there are going to be some plans that have a monthly premium that you have to pay in addition to the Medicare Part B premium that everyone has to pay. But there may be some other plans that have a $0 premium, so no extra out of your pocket. And then there are some Medicare Advantage plans um, that actually have something called a Part B premium give back. And what that is is where the the um, insurance company actually pays a portion of your Part B premium. So essentially, you're getting money back in your pocket every month. You know, uh, Peoples, we have a, a plan that actually gives you $60 a month back, so up to $720 a year back in your pocket. So that can really save you a lot of money. You know, the other things you want to look at with a Medicare Advantage plan is what are your deductibles, your coinsurance, or your copayments, because as you access care, you may may have to pay more for those things as well. If somebody joins a Medicare Advantage plan, do they still have Part A and Part B coverage? Yeah, absolutely. So even though you've joined Medicare Advantage, you still have all the same uh, rights and protections that come with original Medicare, but you're going to get most of your services through that Medicare Advantage plan, not directly from Medicare. Now we come to Medicare Part D. Yes, Part D. So Part D is really the prescription drug coverage, so D for drugs. And keep in mind, Medicare, original Medicare doesn't cover prescription drugs, so outpatient prescription drugs. You have to buy a separate standalone plan, which adds that coverage to Medicare. If you enroll in a Medicare Advantage plan, typically Part D is included. You do need to check and make sure that it is, but most of the most of the Medicare Advantage plans bundle Part D in there as well. So keep in mind, Part D is going to have some of those co-pays as well and cost sharing. So again, you want to shop around your Part D plan too. And I guess a lot of that depends on what medicines you're taking regularly. Yeah, definitely. In fact, um, you can you can look at what medicines you're on and determine what their copays are going to be. Some are going to be a lot cheaper, but you definitely want to make sure whatever plan you're joining covers the medications that you're taking. How do people find out more about Medicare and Medicare Advantage plans? Yeah, it's obviously extremely complex. So one of the best places to go is really go online go to medicare.gov and it's a really great great website where you can put in some of your information like i mentioned you can even list your prescription drugs and they'll actually show you all the plans that are available in your area and really estimate what your cost may be for the year so it's a really great tool that i encourage everybody to go to it's medicare.gov it's also going to show on those um, at, on that list of plans star ratings which is another thing you should be looking at it's a great way to evaluate the plan's quality and the performance of that plan, what the satisfaction people have with that plan is. So the higher the star rating, the higher the quality. Um, Somebody texted in that I'm turning 65 in December of next year. When do I need to sign up for or enroll into Medicare? Yeah, so it's 
six months before your birth month. So that means for them, they would be eligible in June. So they want to start thinking about it probably in the spring or early summertime, start getting information, and then they can enroll. And I know there's more help at health, uh, help information. I'll get it out at peopleshealth.com. And you all have that great People's Health Medicare Center 3017 vets in Metairie next to Party City. Appointments are recommended, amended, but walk-ins are welcome. I don't know what's happening here, Doc. I may need a checkup, but, <laughs> Come but and see me. it's a nice facility, and you can t- you'll take as much time as is needed to explain this whole whole thing, buddy, right? Definitely, yeah. It's real complex, but come by and see us. We're happy to explain it all. To all right, you there. it's thirty seventeen vets, uh, People's Healthcare Center, Medicare Center next to Party City. Thank you, Doctor B. Have a great weekend. Thanks, Tommy. You too. Pleasure as always. You can call 1-800-978-9765. And you can always follow People's Health on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Twitter and 